Okay, if you're going to do a heading line, it's a little bit different than doing a straight AB line. Again, we will do everything from our run screen. In this particular instance, we have all of our guidance on run three. You can put them on whatever run screen you want. Most of the time, we put our guidance on run three. And again, just like the AB line, you're going to want to make sure you're in the correct grower farm and field so that when it stores that line, it's in the correct farm and field. But on here, notice we have this swath recorder up here, and then we have a type of straight. That would be if we we're going to do a straight AB line. If you desire to do a heading line, you would hit that type, and you would select heading. Once you do that, I have a mark A that shows up on here, as well as a name for my swath recorder. So when I hit mark A, it's going to bring up some options to select. So if I want to go straight north, I could select zero degrees or north, and it's going to shoot a line straight north or 90 straight east, 180 straight south, 270 straight west. In my case, we'll just say that I'm going to do a, a custom, so I don't want to do straight north, south, east, or west. I want to do a custom heading. So let's just say in this, I would like to do um, a five degree heading. So I would type in there five degrees. It asks if I want to change this swath. I say yes, I want to change to that swath. And notice how those lines instantly show up. I don't do an AB line, I just select one point and a heading. So those lines show up. Now if we'll move forward, I can hit auto engage and my tractor will steer over to steer me exactly at a five degree heading, giving my same cross track errors and that heading should kind of stabilize out about five degrees on that. And then when I get to the end of my swath, just like on the AB line, this line goes as long as I want. I can make my turn. And then once I get closer to the next swath than I was that one, I can hit engage and my tractor will take over and it will steer me over to that line next swath over. And those swaths will be set from the distance of the implement width that you have set up. Just like on the straight AB line that we did, if you wish to rename that heading swath, you can hit that, hit edit name, I can delete all, and I can call that whatever name I would want to call that particular swath. And that is how you set up a heading line.